Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing another presidential election prediction, but before we start I'd like to say if you like my content, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell and leave a like and comment. With that said, let's get into it. So the other day I made a prediction of what would happen if Trump and Biden ran against each other again, but today I thought I'd put Ron DeSantis up against Gavin Newsom. I'd say they're both the most high profile governors of each party and recently they've been at odds with each other as governors, so I thought I'd take a look at what would happen if they were at odds with each other as presidential candidates. I have all of the safe states from the previous video in here, except for a couple, but I'm going to add a couple more in here. Uh, so starting with another solid state for Gavin Newsom, I have Colorado. I think he'd win it by a smaller mar margin than Joe Biden did in 2020, but I still think he'd get it by that double digit mark. And so I'm giving Gavin Newsom Colorado by a solid margin. As for solid states for Ron DeSantis, the first one I'm going to give him is Texas. I gave Trump uh, Texas by a likely margin uh, just because I think that... Um, the nation as a whole is going to shift in his direction in 2024. Ron DeSantis is a lot more popular, one, among Hispanics, and two, among suburban whites uh, than Donald Trump is. And that combined, I think, is going to be able to push Texas over the solid mark for Ron DeSantis in 2024. The next solid state for Ron DeSantis is going to be his home state of Florida. Everything that applies to Texas applies to Florida, with the added bonus of Florida is Ron DeSantis' home state, and that is going to give him uh, a bit more of an advantage. So I think he would win his home state of Florida by double digits as well. So with the solid states out of the way, I'm going to get into the likely states. I'm going to start with the likely Democrat states, of which there's only one, and that's Maine. Uh, I think that Ron DeSantis would do better than Trump in Maine overall, especially in the first district, which is what would push this under the 10 point margin for him or for Gavin Newsom. Uh, he, Ron DeSantis is just going to be able to do better with like white, white collar people. And that's a lot of Maine. And so I think he would be able to chip away at the margin from 2020. I still think he'd lose it by around six points. Uh, so I do think Gavin Newsom is going to win it by that margin. So I'm calling it likely Democrat. As for likely Republican states, I'm going to give Ron DeSantis Iowa and Ohio, basically for the same reasons I had them as solid in the Trump versus Biden video. Uh, these states have both been trending right for a while. Uh, I think Trump is going to do better in the rurals than Ron DeSantis would do. Uh, and so I think that would uh, pull this margin under the 10 point margin that I had it at in the 2024 uh, Trump versus Biden video. But I do still think Ron DeSantis is probably going to win them by around Trump 2016 margin. So I'm calling them likely Republican. It's a similar story in Maine's second district. Um, I think he'd regress a little bit from where Trump was in 2016, but probably do better than he did in 2020. So I think DeSantis would win that district by around seven points. So we have the likely and solid states out of the way now, 219 votes for Ron DeSantis and 193 for Gavin Newsom. And so now I'm going to get into the toss-up states going from west to east, starting with Nevada. Now, Nevada is a state that's been trending right for since like 2008. Uh, it looks like Republicans are poised to win Nevada in the midterms this year, but that's just my opinion. Um, I had Trump winning this state in 2024. I think Ron DeSantis would do better. I think he'd be able to chip away more at Clark County and maybe even uh, do better in Washoe County up here. Uh, and so I do think Ron DeSantis would win Nevada. I think he'd win by a lean margin, probably around three points. In the state of Arizona, we all know that it's becoming more blue, but we also know that uh, a lot of Trump's unpopularity in that state came from his personality and what he said from John McCain. Uh, about John McCain and not necessarily about his policies. So I do think Ron DeSantis would actually do pretty well in Arizona, probably a little bit less uh, than he would do in Nevada. I think he would win by a little more than two points, uh, somewhere in the 2.5 range. So I think he would win Arizona. The state of New Mexico is a state with a large Hispanic population and Hispanic voters are trending right as a whole nationwide, and it's looking like Republicans are going to do really well with them in 2022. Uh, I think Ron DeSantis and Trump would both do well in New Mexico in 2024, but I think DeSantis would do better because not only is he going to get probably an extra boost in the Hispanic uh, vote, he'll probably do better in the suburbs. Uh, that's a big reason why Trump uh, did worse in New Mexico in 2020 is because of his suburb suburban uh, performance nationwide. And so I do think Ron DeSantis is going to do well in this state. I think it's going to be close. And you know what? With a, an election prediction this far out, you might as well have a wild card prediction. I'm going to call New Mexico tilt Republican. Maybe we can confuse the people who just skipped to the end. So I'm calling New Mexico tilt Republican. Nebraska's second district is uh, basically all Omaha and its suburbs. And so uh, I think Ron DeSantis is going to win 
relatively easily. I mean, the, the biggest reason that Trump lost it in 2020 is because of his suburban regression. Um, this district got redder with redistricting, and Ron DeSantis is going to do a lot better in the suburbs. So I do think he would win this district. Minnesota is one of the few Rust Belt states where I would see DeSantis doing better than Trump. Uh, the white collar white population is kind of what pushed Minnesota so far to the left in 2020. I do think Ron DeSantis would be able to chip away better than Trump would at that. I do still think he'd lose the state probably by two to three points, so I'm calling it lean Democrat. In Wisconsin, I think that uh, Trump would probably do a lot better than DeSantis um, just because he tends to have more of a rural appeal than DeSantis probably would. Um, I do think DeSantis would still win, but I think Gavin Newsom would kind of give him a run for his money. I think it would be a little more than two points, whereas I think Trump would win by a little more than four. Uh, but I do still think he would win Wisconsin. The state of Michigan is kind of a fluke state for Republicans. You know, Trump won it in 2016 very narrowly. Biden won it in 2020 by about three points. Uh, it looks like they're poised to reelect Gretchen Whitmer this fall. I think Gavin Newsom would do pretty well in Michigan. Um, you know, he's not as popular as Joe Biden. Obviously, I don't think he's going to do as well as he would nationwide as Joe Biden. Um, but I do think he'd do pretty similarly in Michigan to Joe Biden. So I'm calling Michigan tilt Democrat. The state of Georgia was decided in 2020 basically solely by uh, Trump's horrible suburban performance uh, nationwide and in the state, you know, outside of Atlanta. Uh, so I think uh, Ron DeSantis would narrowly flip this state. You know, this state is trending away from Republicans, but I think DeSantis would do so well nationwide that Georgia would just kind of follow the wave and uh, flip very narrowly. But I don't think it would be a huge victory, but I do think DeSantis would win it. The state of North Carolina is kind of a static state. Not much moves it in one direction or the other. Uh, since 2008, it's really uh, always been around the same margin. And so I think DeSantis would probably win it by around three. I don't see uh, any reason why he would be able to do any better or why Gavin Newsom would really do that much worse than your average Democrat. So I'm calling it lean Republican. The state of Virginia is another state where Joe Biden's suburban uh, performance over Donald Trump really pushed his margin uh, up. And I think Ron DeSantis would obviously, you know, bring that margin down. And also, Virginia did just elect a Republican governor last year. I don't think, you know, that's really any sign of how it would vote on the presidential level, but it's clear that the state can get a little bit closer still. I do think Gavin Newsom would still win it. It would probably be by a little more than five points, but I do think it would be lean Democrat. Pennsylvania is a very rural state, so I don't think the rurals would uh, come out as much for DeSantis as they would for Trump, but also the suburbs, as with the rest of the country that I've described, would regress uh, for Democrats. So I do think DeSantis would narrowly win Pennsylvania. Oops, uh, that's supposed to be red, but I think he would narrowly win Pennsylvania. I don't think it would be much larger than uh, Trump's 2016 margin, so I'm calling it tilt Republican. Finally, we have the state of New Hampshire. New Hampshire is basically only white collar whites. That's the biggest demographic by a lot uh, in the electorate in New Hampshire. And I do think that uh, this state is going to swing right regardless in 2024. But I think Ron DeSantis would be able to flip it against Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom really is not that popular nationwide. And so I do think DeSantis would narrowly win it. So here's my final prediction. Ron DeSantis with 307 electoral votes beating Gavin Newsom with 231 electoral votes. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe and leave a comment telling me what you think. And thank you all for watching and have a great day.